President or Vice President? Vice President. Vice president. president. Vice president. Well, you'll, you'll be President soon. Yeah. <laughs> Elections we'll are coming up. Elections are coming up. have your stickers ready. <laughs> we'll see how you do in the debates. Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, Trump's beating you at the moment. That's right. He's got the polls. It's all about the hair. To say a few words, uh, the Vice President of Warner Music Group, Jordan Pettit, everybody. Woo! Thank y'all for being here tonight. I just want to say first and foremost, like we would not be here if it weren't for this crew at this uh, at this table right here. Between Mike and everybody here, I just want to say thank y'all so much for um, for playing. I mean, Sarah discovered Michael many many long long years ago. It seems like and. Uh, She's an extremely important part of Michael's career. And this visit for us has so much just gravity to it, just being here. And we wanted to be here tonight as Michael's album is coming out tomorrow morning, as the song is sitting at number one on the charts right now. Yeah. 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 Oh, Mike. And I know it means so much to, to Michael to be here with all of you too. So we were trying to think of something special um, I don't know how many people in here know it. You probably all do, but I'm not going to leave anything up to, to guessing it. But this was the first station in the nation that ever played a song by Michael Ray. And not only played a song, but played a lot of songs <laughs> before I even knew who he was. And uh, as we were getting ready to launch Michael, uh, you know, I had some conversations with Mike, and, and we had talked about you know, hey man, if, if all of this works out the way that we really anticipate that it will, because we think we really have something special now, we want to be here on the night of a number one, or maybe on our album launch. We had no idea that those two things were going to be happening at the same exact time. Um, in my whole career uh, of working different artists and taking artists out on the road, um, you know, which just a little bit of my background. I, I was one of the first to ever take um, artists like Sugarland, Randy mm -hmm. Hauser, Eli Young Band, um, Dan and Shay, uh, Charlie Worsham, Frankie Ballard, Brett Eldridge, uh, amongst some yeah, others yeah, out on the road. <laughs> and uh, there was something immensely special with Michael that we knew that we had like right off the bat. And uh, as Mike and I were talking and we were we were kind of planning some things. I was, I was digging into Michael's uh, airplay, you know, just to see, hey, where are the stations that have played him in the past, and who's done stuff? Like, where's his supporters at? You know, that's the first thing as we're building a launch plan. We're like, who are the radio stations out there that are friends of Michael? Yeah, you know, before he even had a record deal, and we looked up, and there was like, one. <laughs> and it was like, no, and it was like, like right, let me it. dig in a little bit. Right? Like, like do they, are they playing a song that like like we that we have on his album right now, or, or he hadn't even recorded his album, but we had like a few kind of songs that he had done, not on a master level, but just had that was the reason that we signed him. And I click on their playlist, and all of a sudden it was like we played like. 15 Michael Ray songs. Like, oh my God. Like, what is going on here? Sorry, boss. So, we ended up finding out that yeah, Sarah was kind of slipping it in. And it really are, and okay. That's okay. She came clean on that to her bosses tonight. And it was, Adrian said it's kind of like when you're drinking when you're in high school and then you become legal age and you tell your parents all the crazy things you can't get in trouble anymore because you're legal. You're safe. Um, so, such an amazing story coming out of Lakeland here and I'm so happy that you guys have embraced Michael um, we're you know in the early stages of building something that we still believe is really really special um, we look at a lot of things and, and how an artist reacts and we've got a single out there that's hitting a massive audience right now and you know we're in the airport today and we can't even stand out in the aisle anymore. We've got to go sit over in the corner by the <laughs> Just so he's not, his hand's not cramping up and he's not having to take a billion selfies. So um, it's all really fun to see. Um, so thank you all for doing the scavenger hunt or the questions that we, that we did. And what we wanted to do is um, 
we we brought some things that we wanted to give you guys and uh, because this place is really the first like the very first place that his music was ever heard we brought literally the first 10 CDs that came off the press mm. um, we grabbed those and made up some special plaques for those of you who won the question so you know that nobody knows. 